Hello and welcome to the final part and let's look back at Resident Evil 3. Um, when I say final part, there's still more I'm going to show you, but um, this is like the final part of the story. And um, I've just got some additional extras to show you really, um, which I'll probably... Uh, I mean, Secret Diary is the only one that's going to be um, not... It's going to take me a while to do, so... Um, just trying to think... I, well, I'm just going to, all I really will show you uh, the next couple of parts will be the mercenaries, the secret costumes, um, and that's pretty much going to be it. Then I'll, whenever I get around to it, I will. Oh, and the epilogues. Um, and then hopefully I can get the secret diary done because it's going to take me a bit of time to get the game redone with all the secret files. Um, the last file is actually here, and I missed it the very first couple of times I played this through. It was quite missable. Because it just looks like a torn piece of paper on the floor. And more than it really is, is a photo of what you'll be seeing in a minute. Let's just say that weapon is pivotal in the final boss fight. It's so necessary. Oh, we've missed two files. One I knew was Dario's diary, but what the other one is, I really don't know. Um, hmm, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I, if I could sit and probably think about it, I'd be able to think of it, but I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Now we're not getting back through that door. Um, this is obviously, you'll see more of, there's like tyrants and US Army mil military in this room. It's kind of annoying because they've all got weapons. Why can't I pick them up? Check -in system. What's really annoying here now is you have to push the batteries in and when you push the first battery in, let's just say uh, the, first, the boss likes to uh, pop down when the first battery is in. You can see there's a, I think that's the T-103 from Resident Evil 2, I'm not sure on numbers, I get them confused but I think that's what it's called. It's also in Operation Raccoon City. Yes, he's back. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's Nemesis in his final form because he just keeps regenerating. I mean, obviously he lost his head in the last fight, so this is his new form. His brain's actually now on his back. Yeah, the problem with this boss is you can't kill him with weapons. All you can do is hold him off till you've got that rail gun to fire at him. I've just thought I could have took the mine thrower and threw some mines at the wall, actually. Oh, I would be there when I need to push the last battery in. Well, that missed just, but he does spit acid and it can hit. Oh, wait. that's the last battery. I've just got to wait for it to charge up. But now what we got to do is, when I say you can't kill him, you can not actually physically kill him, but you can make him be so damaged that he backs off into a corner. So that's what we've got to try and do now. But he's so annoying. Because it does take a lot of shots to get him there. And that bloody acid he keeps spitting. Shouldn't have used that herb there. I actually managed to get behind him. 
I'm trying to get him to come towards me. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. I always find if you he's, if you hit him in like he's got like he's they, they look like um, domes on the back of him, like clear domes. If you hit them, uh, he tends to back off a bit. So I don't know if it's that or not. just got to get him to come into here. That's our last herb as well. That's going to... That obviously missed because he's standing here. I was still fine, which is good. I've actually always wondered what happens if you stand in, the middle, in that gap when it goes off. If you'd actually die or it move you out of the way. That was part of the cutscene. Ah! Oh I know. I was hoping that he would move in front of it and hit him, but it probably would have missed him anyway. We've just got to hope now we can back him off. I can see that dome thing on the front of his head. Actually, I thought it was on his back, but it's actually at the front there. Surely this should hit him if he's in this gap. I, I've never actually had the... I don't know why I've just... Because you get so far and you don't really want to just go that far just to find out if you die if you stand in the middle of there. How did that miss him? He was in the gap, surely. He's right there. How did that miss him? Oh, oh caution. Oh, I didn't see another herb. All oh, right, if that was my last one. Obviously, it's not. Oh, that's off now. It should be in dead. Yeah, that's hit him. And that's pretty much the end for him. How many tyrants are in that room? You've got the trench coat one and the evolved forms of them. And we've got one more live action event now. And one final live action event uh, as soon as we open this door. Yeah, he decides he wants to get it for one more final thing. Luckily, you can choose in a live action event whether to fight him or leave him to die. Um, I am going to fight him. You might, might be thinking, why am I fighting him? Um, I actually ain't going to fight him. It's all pre. It's an action scene. Jill magically finds a magnum on the floor that we couldn't use in that boss fight, which would have been handy, um, and finishes him off. should be the end of him. I, I can't see him reach Well, I don't think he does. He's pretty much just that. Um, it's amazing, isn't it? He was stalking you the whole game. Now he just ends up as like a, well, a piece of crap, pretty much, putting it politely. Um, that's not putting it politely, but yeah. You stalked the wrong girl, Nemesis. That's all I'm going to say. And this is pretty much going to be the ending now. Jill! It's over, Carlos. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. But who is it? Who could possibly be looking for me? It doesn't matter. We just have to be there when it lands.
Thanks. You saved us. I couldn't let you die. Is... is it you? Are you ready to finish this? It's coming! Yeah. It's the end. Now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. I love how they do that in a news report, because in Resident Evil Apocalypse, which is based on the game, uh, Resident Evil 3, um, it says that it was a nuclear I mean, break, uh, meltdown, I think it was, um, that caused the destruction of Raccoon City, so... It's a different perspective, really. Um, this is pretty much the end now. Um, if you, for those who didn't realise or notice, uh, the guy in the helicopter, I think is Barry Burton from Resident Evil 1. I mean, it's pretty... The way Jill goes, oh, it's you, uh, pretty much confirms that. And there's no been no official confirmation, but th there's no nothing to suggest otherwise. So that's who I pretty much believe it is. Um, but just like to thank you for watching uh, the series of Resident Evil. Well, this look back at Resident Evil Three. There's a little bit more to come, just some secret bits, um, and that's really it. Uh, the next game is I've well, I'm working on Resident Evil Survivor at the moment, so hopefully I can get that done. Um, and then Resident Evil One Zero. I'm going to try and do Code Veronica in Four, and then Resident Evil Five because it's about two months till Resident Evil Six now, so I've got a lot to do in two months. Um, but as I said, thank you for watching and enjoy the credits. And the ranking will be at the end, so if you're interested in watching what rank I get, uh, do feel free to watch the rest of the video. Um, I've just left that as an optional thing for you.